Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today we're going to continue on loading up our character from our player press file. So let's open up Unity and Mono Development. And we left off last, we had an error. Our current value was not updating when we were loading it from our player press file, and it actually was. So to test to make sure that we actually have the values that we want in our player's pref, you can actually go look. But the way that I went to check was I went up to the beginning of the for loop, which is right here, and I used the player prefs dot has key method. So it was just simply going if player prefs dot has key. Now what this is going to do is check for the string that you entered if that key exists. So I just simply went down here and copied the whole key name. So it was the current value that wasn't updating right. Put it in. So if it does have that key, I just simply wanted it to, to debug dot log the value. So I'm just actually going to grab the whole line here. And let's just append it with something. Uh, have key or better yet instead of just saying have key let's actually put out the name of the vital that it's looking up so we can just grab this the just string part of the name we'll paste that right in so now we'll go back to unity no errors we hit play and if we look at our debug log, we'll notice it says health 60, energy 120, mana 50. So you got to ask yourself, well, what was the problem? Let me get rid of these lines real quick. Well, the problem was is that in our current value, if we went and looked at our vital script, when we go to get the current value, it checks to see if the current value is greater than the adjusted base value. And if it is, it sets the current value to the adjusted base value then it returns the current value. So we went and looked at modified stat because that's where we're getting the adjusted base value from, from the class that's inherited. And we went and looked at adjusted base value and we look here that it returns the base value plus the buff value plus the mod value. Now the base value is zero because we haven't spent any experience to raise it yet. Buff value is zero because we haven't got into buffs yet. And the mod value is zero because it hasn't calculated any of the modifiers yet. So after we're done calculating the modifiers, that's when we'll call the get vitals. So for now, well, let's just comment that out. It's one we have to do, but we are going to have to take care of this first. So parsing a string is almost as easy as putting the string together. What we're going to want is to copy this line. I'll put it up here and I'm going to create a new string to store what's stored in our player's pref. Uh, so it's going to be a type string and I'm just going to call it my mods. Make it equal to this. Instead of setting we'll be getting. And as a default I'll just make an empty string. Okay, now after that we're going to create an array of strings and we'll just call these mods and that is going to be equal to my mods dot split and then the delimiter that we're going to use to split on. Now for me I was using the pipe or the bar whatever you want to call it. So what this basically does is it takes what's returned from our player's press file which is stored in my mods and it's going to split the string up into a bunch of little strings and it's going to split them up according to where it finds a little bar. So once we have that done we can just go into a for each loop and we'll just say string s in mods 
And for now, I'm just going to do a debug to show you what it looks like when it comes out. And we'll just debug out S. So we'll save that. Go back into Unity. No errors. We'll run it. Now if we look at the debug statement, we'll notice that health is based on constitution and 0.5. Energy is constitution and it's 100% of it. And willpower, which is 100%. So now we're going to want to break that down even further by splitting it on the underscore and then creating a new modified attribute. So let's go in to the for each loop. We'll create another string or array of strings. And I'm going to call this one mod stats. Not mad stats. Although I guess if your character was high enough level, they could be mad. And I'm going to split on S. And the delimiter here will be the underscore. And don't forget the equals. So next we're going to want to create a new modified attribute. Now we've already done this in, I think it was base character class. So instead of typing it all out, we can just cut and paste. Except we're going to need a reference the script which is PC class dot get vital now the parameters we're going to pass in to our new modifying attribute are going to be the indexes of this string here our mod stats so we know the value is going to be stored in mod stats one and the name of the attribute, we're going to have to look up, go through the enumeration. So let me see a quick way to do that. We know the enumeration is just a list. So it can be iterated over. So we can do that in a for loop. So for int cnt equals zero. cnt is less than the length of our attributes. So right here, we'll just cut and paste this. Actually, we'll just cut and paste this whole line. Save on typos, since we know there's no typos in that line. Well, we'll have to tab that in. So we're going to iterate through all of our attributes. And we're going to compare the name that we have stored with the name of the attribute converted to a string. So if mod stats, and it's going to be the first index inside of mod stats, so that's zero, is equal to and then this attribute name in the enumeration converted to a string. So we'll grab that up here. So we're going to compare there. Then I'm going to do a debug here. And the debug is just going to be mod stats 0. And then I'm going to add an equal sign there just so that we know it is finding it and finding the right one. And we'll paste in that, which is just getting the attribute name. And let's comment out this line for now. And let's go try it out. So a local variable name CT cannot be declared in the scope because, OK, let's see here. Int CNT, what was the error again? A local variable name CNT cannot be declared in this scope because it would be different meaning to, OK, so we can't use CNT here. 
because uh, we're using it up here. That's fine. We'll just change the name. We'll just call it X. It's just a counter. And we'll make sure to change all the CNTs here to X. We could have also done a for each loop, which would have got rid of that. But I've already done it this way, so I'll just leave it this way. Just make sure you change all the occurrences of CNT in this little four block. That should get rid of that error. One more error. Express the notes of type or variable value. This is named wrong. It should be mod stats. And now we got two errors. We'll need an X in there. And there we go. All the errors are gone. So we'll hit play. And there we go. Willpower equals willpower. So let's look at all of them because it should be three. Constitution equals constitution. So we know this one's for health. This one was for energy. And this one was for mana. Great. So what we're going to do is put a break statement in here because once it finds the proper attribute, we don't need to keep looking at the rest of the attributes. So we'll put a break in there and we'll have to assign this to a value. I just want to store it. So I'm just going to make a new int and I'll just call it uh, tribute index or trib index. I'll start it off at zero. Then where we have our debug statement, I'll assign it. Uh, well, I want it to be ATT. So I'm just going to quickly fix that up here. ATT RIB is equal to X. Comment that out. Just going to save it, make sure I have no typos. Great. So now that we have that done, we can come down here into our new modifying attribute. And right here, we want to get primary attribute. And we're just going to pass in the new variable we just made, which of course I forget what was attribute index. Now let's also uncomment this line. Sorry, not that one. The bottom one. And let's see if that fixes everything all in one fell swoop. In order to get the primary attribute, we also have to make a reference to the script that we're calling it from. In this case, we're calling it PC class. And now we've got two errors. So the best overloaded method for modifying attribute equals attribute and float. So we're not passing it in right. 